Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Dani and today's video I'm gonna show you how to make the Andes beanie. This is a super easy and really quick to make crochet pattern. It's adorable and I have included six different sizes and I think this is one of the most requested videos so I'm super excited to bring this to you. And this video is in collaboration with my friends at Clover, so I'm super happy and excited to be collaborating with them again. So yes, before we get started, don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the newborn size just for the purpose of making this really quick and the process is exactly the same for every single size as you can see it looks like it's knitted but it is actually crochet so that's very very cool and like I said I'm gonna be making in here the newborn size but you will have every single size on my blog the link you guys know is always is in the description box below and also in the first comment of this video so in here I have the newborn size. You will also have the three to six months size. You will also have the um, six to 12. Then you have the toddler size. We have the child size that I, I didn't have the opportunity to make it, but the pattern it's in my blog. And of course we have the adult size. So you will have everything there. You will also have the amount of yarn that you need for each hat, so you can check that on my blog. And at the very end of this video, I'm gonna show you something that you guys have been asking for quite a lot of time, and that's how I sew my palms, or how do I attach my palms onto my hats so I'm gonna show you that at the very end of this video and I will also have the link um, to the Etsy shop where I get my pom-poms from so if you guys are looking for that as well I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below so now let's see what you need to make this beautiful crochet hat Okay, so to make this hat, you will need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will also need scissors, a tapestry needle, and a category 5 yarn, bulky weight. So in this case, I'm using a little bit that I have left from one skein, and I want to make a matching hat for the adult size, so I'm going to be making a super tiny <laughs> newborn hat in the color green. This is the skein that I use to make this hat. It's um, by Lion Brand, color made easy, and as you can see in here, it's bulky weight. And remember the exact amount of yarn that you will need per size. It's going to be on my blog, so check that out. And now let's get into the pattern. So to begin, we're gonna start with the foundation chain and for the newborn size you will need to chain 21 So in here I have my foundation chain and now I'm going to start the hat. So in the second chain from the hook we're going to half double crochet slip stitch which is the stitch that we have been using in the past two videos. And it's that really cool stitch that makes our project 
look like knitting. So we're gonna continue half double crochet slip stitch all the way down until we have two chain left. So here we have two chain left and we're going to slip stitch those two chain or those two last stitches. So slip stitch two. Now for row number two, chain one, turn your work and slip stitch two. So slip stitch in the back loop only, I forgot to mention that. From now on we're gonna crochet grabbing just the back loop of the stitch. So see, uh, slip stitch one, slip stitch two, and now we continue with half double crochet slip stitch. With some, it, I guess it's a modified half double crochet because we don't actually finish the half double crochet. <laughs> so continue doing this all the way down. So in here we have the last stitch, you should have 20 in total. Make sure you're counting your, st your stitches, you don't want to miss one, so count those stitches. So for row number three, chain one, turn your work and let's do it again. Half double crochet, slip stitch until you have two stitches remaining. So here we have the two stitches. These ones are always going to be a little hard to see just because they are slip stitch instead of the half double crochet slip stitch. <laughs> and then slip stitch those two. And in here you will remember that this is where you have to do the slip stitch because this is the top of the hat and in here we have this little tail from the foundation chain so that's going to be very helpful to remember where you have to slip stitch so for the next row chain one turn your work slip stitch two and we're going to continue with this sequence for a total of 32 rows so these 32 rows are for the newborn size so remember you will have um, all the other reading patterns on my blog the amount of stitches rows uh, the amount of materials etc so here i have my 32 rows and as you can see i have uh, yarn on the top and a little tail here at the bottom and that's what we want that's how you're gonna know you have your 32 or an even number better say cut the yarn leaving like mm, a meter a meter should be fine so we can sew that hat we can close it pull the yarn so then the stitches are not gonna go anywhere grab your tapestry needle and now before we close the hat, I wanted you to pay attention to something very important that's gonna determine which one is the inside and which, was, which one is the outside of the hat. So as you can see in here, this stitch here looks like little V's or little arrows. Let's call it the little V's. 
So when the V's are um, in a normal position, that's the outside of your hat. And when the V is pointing upwards, then that's the inside of your hat. Okay, so make sure to keep that in mind before sewing and closing your hat. So this is how I'm going to close my hat. This is the way that I really like to do it. I tried different ones and this is the best one I like. And as you can see, the V's are in here looking good. <laughs> so that's gonna be the outside of my hat and I'm actually sewing it from the outside. Make sure it's perfectly aligned. And I will pass the tapestry needle through one side and then behind this V and then in the other side so this is how I like to do it but like I said if you find a better way if you want to sew it from the inside out then you can do that as well and like I mentioned before I tried different ways to sew it and this one is the one I like the best so when you reach the top you're gonna sew in here a little bit more and this is why we kept the little tail or the little yarn from the foundation chain and before we close the top we're gonna make a few knots so we're gonna knot it one and then another one just to make sure and this is because when we're trying to close the top and then we're gonna tie it a little bit if we don't make that knot with the other piece of yarn it's gonna affect in here so that's why we need to make sure that this is nice and secure before we close the top. So now we're gonna do um, like a little zigzag in order to close that top. Once you are here now you can close it a little bit but before we close it completely we're gonna bring everything inside turn your hat inside out and now we can close it completely tie it there with that little piece of yarn that little tail that's very helpful so don't cut it at the beginning don't weave it in before just leave it there because it's gonna be very helpful for all the steps to make the hat and now you can weave in the ends or and cut the yarn but I'm gonna leave a few inches because I'm gonna actually use these two strands of yarn to attach my pom-pom so that's gonna be a really good help for me. So now we're gonna turn the hat again. And now you can fold the brim and you are done with your super teeny tiny, adorable newborn or zero to three months baby hat. This is so tiny and so cute. I really like it. And you can make it, like I said, in 25 to 30 minutes. It's so cute. So now I'm gonna show you how to attach your pom-poms. Uh, this is the way at least that I do it. And I think my pom-poms are very nice and secure and attached onto my hats. So grab your 
pom-pom that it would usually come with two strands but if it doesn't you can always grab a super thick um, thread and and get it there in your hat so I grab my crochet hook I come from the inside grab one of the strands and pull it back in and now I go in the side again grab the other strand and pull it back in and now we turn the hat inside out again and in here I will usually attach it super good I will make a lot of knots and I would use that um, the yarn that I left to attach it really good as well but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to make a super easy knot because I'm positive 100% sure that I'm gonna be changing or switching the the pom-pom later so that's why I'm just doing it like this and your pom-pom is perfectly attached <laughs> so yes this is how I attach my pom-poms and like I said I'm gonna leave the link of the Etsy shop where I get mine in the description box below so yes that's all for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your friends that's a very nice way to help me promoting my um, designs and my videos and my content and that way I can continue giving you guys free patterns free tutorials and stuff like that so yes I really appreciate when you guys tag me on social media and everything so yeah I hope you liked it remember you have all the links in the description box below and I'll see you next week with another video tutorial bye